Tim Panasic for Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we're going to show you the uh, Coyote Otter 180. So the 180 Otter comes in three different configurations. This is the side console that you can see here. You can also get it with a center console or you can get it with a tiller handle if you want the boat entirely wide open. As you can see, this is a fairly open concept. It's a fairly simple boat, but it performs really well. It's uh, basically 19 and a half feet long. It's got an 81 inch beam. It's, it's built for a river. It's uh, built to take a hit. It's got uh, a quarter inch keel plate of 6061 aluminum. So that's a really hard grade aluminum. The wings, the bow and the transom are 3 16ths of an inch. And that's gonna be 5086, which is still a very hard grade of aluminum. And then the sides are going to be uh, 125, which is 1 8th, and that's going to be 5052 aluminum, which uh, is going to give you plenty of strength on the sides. Uh, this is sitting on a, an easy loader, 2350 uh, pound uh, trailer. So that is a, actually a full size trailer for this. It's got the same uh, frame as what Easy Loader uses in their 2350, 2800, and 3100 pounds. So really the only thing that's gonna be different here is the axle and the tire size. So that's a very good trailer for this size and weight of boat. As we move down the hull, this has got, uh, like every other Coyote boat, you've got the radius sides. So basically what you've got is you've got a lightweight hull that's very strong. So what you've got is you've got approximately 18 to 20 bends that's done on the side of the hull. So at the end of the day, it, you can't, uh, the fit and finish on this and the smooth clean lines make this really unique in the industry. As far as the hull bottom, 10 degree, 10 degree bottom is what Coyote uses on all jet boats. And uh, we've talked about this before, but just to repeat it, the 10 degree bottom is what we found makes the least amount of compromise in most situations. So what we mean by that is it's gonna run very shallow. It's gonna stay on step at a slow speed and it's still very drivable. So when you steer it, it's gonna steer well. You can get it to be slippery if you want to, but a little bit of counter steer steering, if you're aggressively turning at high speeds, and you can correct it. So it becomes a fun boat to operate. So at the end of the day, there's always arguments about, you know, what degree hull and, you know, the shallower the hull bottom, the shallower the wa water you can run in. But uh, remember that there's always compromises to all that. So this 10 degree bottom is what we found works the best with the least amount of compromise in just about most applications, particularly when running shallow water and river running. This has got the optional UHMW on the bottom. So you've got a four foot by 15 foot long piece there to give you the extra protection and make it that much more slippery if you do end up on a gravel bar. And you can also see the HR intake in the center. So what's unique here again is the water intake coming from the center of the hull. This has got the optional uh, protection bars there. So that's gonna protect any large uh, sticks, debris from getting through. And if you do get anything that gets through there, you've still got a great system on the bottom of the jet leg, on the bottom of the jet 80 here. And that's very easy to deal with. If you ever did get clogged up, you've got a trim switch right here. You just trim it up and you can even be in the water and trim this all the way up and literally reach over, get your sticks or whatever is off of there off and away you go again. So there's the one big advantage to the outboard jet is that you can uh, deal with your intake in the water versus an inboard. So just one, one advantage to the outboard jet there. Going to the interior, we'll start with the transom. You've got some storage here. You can see the fuel fill there. So this has got a 130 liter fuel tank that's strapped in on the port corner. You've got extra storage on the starboard corner. You've got a battery, bilge pump accessibility, and the rest of this is just all storage. As far as the interior of this boat, again, it's a very simple design, but it does have nice wide gunnels. So those are gonna be comfortable for sitting on. You can walk on those, they're wide enough. You've got uh, gunnel storage on both the starboard and port side here on the aft portion of the hull. And basically the rest of this is just left wide open for you to do whatever you want. There are little things like this step here, which is actually quite nice for hopping out of the bow of the boat. It makes for a very easy transition. As far as the console, you just got nothing but room on top here to add electronics or whatever else you may want. 
This does offer a very comfortable seating position with good visibility, comfortable access to your controls. You've got a 12 volt and a USB plugs there for charging your phone, etc. And uh, basically everything else here is just left wide open for lots of space and uh, to do whatever you want to do with all this room. This has got the Mercury Jet 80, which uh, Jet 80 means it's a 115 horsepower power head. So what you end up with is you end up with 80 horsepower at the jet pump. Uh, this engine package works very good on here. This will carry a fairly decent load. Uh, specifications on this are all accessible on our website along with all the boat specs and everything too in case I make any errors there. But to give you a rough idea, with just myself and this boat, you're looking at basically close to a 30 mile an hour boat. Uh, it's going to cruise really nice in the low 20 mile an hour range and you're going to get uh, on this particular hull just over four miles to the gallon with a light load. And those are very good performance specs. Considering where you can go with this, uh, it just works very well and very efficient. Who this boat was uh, designed for is obviously a river running person. It's not going to be a great boat on rough water with a 10 degree bottom hull. Uh, it's going to get you across the lake if you need to, but obviously the intention is for river running. It's going to carry a fairly decent load for this size of boat. It's going to be designed for the person that's uh, not looking for a whole lot of frills, but looking for a practical boat that you've got a ton of room to organize your stuff however you wish. And uh, basically, it's going to be probably the best option for a jet package for the money to be able to carry some gear, whatever, you know, whether it's pleasure or whether it's for work and uh, get you uh, safely and reliably up and down a river into some areas that you just wouldn't be able to access with a lot of other boats that are larger and heavier. As always, uh, hopefully this uh, video helped you understand the Coyote 180 Otter a little bit better and uh, continue to uh, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this and uh, please refer to our website for more information on this boat and all the specs that we just went over.